Hi Booktube, Lynette here and today's video is going to be my January reading plans. I would know that we are a week into January at the point that you're seeing this so Happy New Year to you all. I hope you all had a good Christmas and New Year period. My reading plans for January have been set since the beginning of December when I saw a video by Ollie over at Criminoli and I will try and leave his channel linked down below for you. Uh, he along with MJ at Reading This Life and some other uh, YouTubers and um, people who talk about books online uh, have decided that January should be the month that we clean up our e-readers. So I'm doing clean up my Kindle for the month of January. Uh, I have a lot of books on my Kindle. If you saw my video that should have gone up just um, before the end of December, uh, you'll know that there are 369 unread books. Books are completely new to me on this little device here and I need to clean some of those up. So my entire aim for the month of January is apart from maybe one or two books is that everything I read is going to be an ebook. So the team of people that have put together this readathon have put together some prompts um, to be followed to, or to use or to help guide your reading. I'm not sure I'm going to complete the prompts. It's not going to be part of the aim of it. I am just going to let myself read as the mood takes me. However, I do have some books that would fit this, the prompts very, very nicely. So I might have a go at reading those. Um, I'll just see how it goes. Anyway, I'll let you know what the prompts are. Prompt number one is oldest book. And this could be the uh, book that is the, you know, furthest back ever published, the oldest book ever published that you've got on your ebook. It could be the oldest book you ever purchased on your e-reader. So certainly that would be my plan is to read the book that I've had for the longest. Um, I have quite a few that I purchased in 2012 that I haven't gotten to yet. Um, so I definitely need to make a dent in those. And I really would like to get to that this year if I can. The second prompt they gave as newest book. This could be the most recently published book you have on your Kindle or e-reader, or e whichever device you use. I use a Kindle, so that is my default when I say it. Sorry for that. But it is any, any reading device that you use. Um, yeah, so newest, newest, newest published, or it could be the newest purchase. Um, I definitely would be looking to do newest purchase because the most recent uh, book that I downloaded, it wasn't a purchase. It was actually a um, borrow from Kindle Unlimited and it would finish a series for me, which would be really, really helpful because I would like to make a lot of progress next year with series. So, yep, so newest book. The next one is a really good one for me and that is start or continue a series. Now I have a lot of books um, on my TBR. I do have planned uh, for uh, filming at some point in the next few days is to film a series update to tell you where I am at the point that I'm filming this which is right at the end of December uh, to tell you where I am with my series and decisions that I've made. I have quite a lot of series in progress and I have quite a few books on my e-reader uh, that would continue a series. So the, that one falls very neatly into my lap and does pair with another plan I have for the month of January quite nicely. The next prompt is, but it was free. You downloaded it purely because you didn't have to pay for it. Um, again, I have a lot of those. I would have to go through my entire Amazon account to work out which one it would be. Um, I think I worked out that the oldest one I have that was free um, is from 2012. So again, it would help me get rid of that one um, and get that one off the list. Um, but yeah, it would. Um, I've got I've got quite a lot that I bought because I was free because. 11, uh, no more than that, I've had my Kindle for 12, at this point I've had it for more than 12 years 
um, and I used to get all of the Kindle um, daily deals sent to me. I used to get, I was signed up for other lists that would send me details of free books. So I downloaded quite a few because they were free. I've recently taken part in a romance reader event called uh, Stuff Your Kindle Day where you they just list um, a load of books that have been listed for free or for very, very cheap. Um, and I've just gone through and downloaded a load of those, even though I know that I shouldn't be doing that because I have enough books on my TBR as it is. The next prompt is new to you author. I have a lot, uh, pretty much most of the unread books um, of all the unread books that I have on my Kindle are new to me authors, authors that I've never read before. So that would be a really easy prompt to fill. But yes, it's just an author that you've never read before. Quite an easy one to fill. The next prompt is, why did I buy this? Again, going hand in hand with, but it was free. Um, I have quite a few that I downloaded that I don't really remember why. Um, I don't remember the synopsis. I have accumulated the majority of these books over the last 12 years and I don't really remember so I don't know why I bought most of them other than the fact that maybe they were free or 99p or just really really cheap. The next one is read a book by a booktube author. Now this one is a bit difficult for me to fill. I don't actually um, have, I don't think I only have one book that is by a booktube author and I'm not sure about reading it, to be perfectly honest with you, but you never know. If I try and fill this prompt, um, then it would get another really old book off of the list. The final reading prompt is blame it on booktube. So read the books that you bought because you saw them on booktube. That hyped book that you saw five years ago and you've been meaning to get to and never have. I have quite a lot of those as well. Uh, so I will... Um, yeah, definitely be able to fill that one quite easily. The final prompt is to clean up your e-reader. So that is, you know, go through, maybe be, go through and be critical. Are you going to read it, delete it from your library? Um, it could be as far as organising your uh, e-reader into some kind of order so that you can easily find what you're looking for. My Kindle, I actually make use of collections, um, so this is a bit of a difficult one for me. Um, I probably won't actually review this one at all um, because I have made use of collections and my Kindle is fairly organised with how with the books I want to read. I have a collection which is literally just the unread books by um, authors um, and books that I've never actually read before in any format at all. Um, so it's quite easy for me and I've got various other collections. So I've got um, the, they, the year that they were purchased, I've got the month and year that they were purchased. Uh, I've done, I've, I had started and maybe that's something I could do. I could finish off doing that while listening to an audiobook maybe. Um, is I had started organising them in alphabetical order by author surname, I think. Um, and yeah, just you can do various things, um, but it's just make sure that it's kept up to date and tidy, and which is something I pretty much do anyway as I go along. So yeah, so that's the clear out your Kindle, um, clear out your e-reader. Um, January that is running for the whole of the month it's not um, a, a one week or a one weekend thing it is a whole month readathon go and check out Ollie and MJ I have link will have tried to link them down below um, because they'll have even better information around prompts than I've just given you I've just kind of going from my scribbled notes there I did say during giving out those prompts I have a second um, plan for January and that is Steph uh, Steph Loves is running another round of final book support group this is the um, readathon that she does to encourage us all to continue series finish series and if possible try to avoid starting them um unless we really have to so that is running for the weekend of the 12th to the 14th of January and 
again she's done some prompts she's done a bingo board which i will try and leave here for you um and the bingo squares on there are to read a subscription box sequel so um it doesn't have to be a book that was in a subscription box if you have the sequel to a box that you know was included in a subscription box if you follow the social media for for people like fairy loot and illumicrate and um Owlcrate, I think they're the three big ones that I can think off the top of my head. Um, if you know a book series was featured in there and you have a sequel to read, then uh, do that. It doesn't necessarily have to have been in the box. The second one is graphic novel, manga slash novella. Let's get those short reads off of your TBR um, and get series continued that way. I'll finish that way if the case may be. I certainly know that um, I need to get to volume 11 of Saga. So I will try and see if I can get my hands on a copy of that without having to pay for it. Um, I mean using my library, of course. Uh, so i'm not sure it's actually available um so that's the second prompt the third prompt is if you use social media if you're a bookish person on social media or instagram etc or um youtube share your tbr uh let's see what you're planning to read uh, to um get this weekend fourth is anticipated sequel um unfortunately i don't have any anticipated sequels the only anticipated sequel i have is coming out in february too late for the readathon but if you have a sequel that has come out recently come out and you are able to get your hands on a copy read it for, read it that weekend attempt to read it that weekend and knock this prompt off the list the next one is final book this is the whole point of this readathon is to encourage us to get to those final books that we keep putting off for whatever reason we keep putting them off um, but it is there just to encourage us to do that the next prompt is poll pick. So again, if you're a social media user or if you're in maybe a Discord group is to put a poll up for other people to vote for your next read. Um, see what other people want you to get to. Steph hosts public sprints. This is a public readathon, so she will be on YouTube over some point over the weekend. Um, running a live show where we will have sprints and you know she encourages everybody to join her um you don't have to take part in the chat or anything if you just want to have it on quiet in the background um and just listen in you know it just encourages all to sit down with our books and just make time for reading as well which is another great thing if you need some encouragement the next prompt is self-care so that can be even if that is just sitting down for half an hour with your book just do something that is mindful for you um, so, you know, have a long hot bath, go for a walk, go some, do some shopping if you need to, you know, just do anything that is, that you find relaxing and mindful and, you know, even, like I say, even if that's just half an hour with your book, then do that. And the final prompt is to continue a series. So let's get some of those series in progress, uh, moving forward. Let's see how we can, um, do with that one for the year let's see uh if we can move towards being able to read the final books in future rounds because this is something that is going to be ongoing uh throughout the year steph tends to run them every other month she runs five or six a year so this will be our next aim so that's it those are the two readathons i am taking part in in january um as i said i have kind of loosely put together a tbr i've got some books in mind that would fit the um clear out your e-reader prompts um i have been spending this morning setting up my new reading journal and I've listed out uh, all the series that I hope to continue with this year and I have quite a few there where I only have one book left in the series so maybe I can prioritise those as well like I say quite a few of them are on my Kindle um, so it would reduce my Kindle TBR and yeah 
that's my reading plans so what do you plan on reading in january um let me know in the comments down below will you take part in either of these readathons now that you know about them i'm sorry that i'm not telling you um earlier than january it just hasn't fallen that way i had another video that i wanted to get up before the end of the year um which meant that this one didn't uh, get prioritized um, and yeah, I wanted January the 1st to be my reading goals for the year. So yeah, let me know in the comments. I hope you have enjoyed this video. If you have, then please do give me a like. And if you're not already subscribed to the channel and another way apparently that is really good to help your favorite channels grow is to just keep watching their videos, watch them to the end. Um, because apparently that tells YouTube that you really like that person. I'm hoping to be more consistent again with filming this year and updating. Um, so I look forward to seeing you in my next one. Bye.